Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me once again. Hope you're doing well. Now, you know my, well, opinion, I guess, on elections, our choices, our actions, what we do, how we go about it. Do we go out and do we put our X against the name that we believe is correct? Do we stay at home in the firm belief that what's the point when I group with any of them? Or do we turn up and do we say, I do not consent? Well, I'm a big proponent of I do not consent, uh, very much so. A very clear message needs sending to the establishment that we have no faith in you anymore. And I'm always open to alternatives, alternative views on that subject. And I received an email uh, the other day containing such an alternate view. Now, I'll show you the slide in a minute, but I just want to read the first paragraph of this. Uh I'm writing because I saw your video. I do not consent anymore. You see the problem exactly. I fully agree with you. I think you're describing a common frustration. I'm advocating for an electoral reform that I think is a potential solution. I'm hoping you will like and be willing to put it in the spotlight. I'm trying to attack where I message content creators like yourself who might like it. Now, what this person is actually referring to with regard to electoral reform is an electoral veto uh, rather than a straight I do not consent or vote for somebody. And they've given me a, a one page explainer here, which I'll uh, put up on the screen. And purely, if you can let me know what you think of this when we go through it, and we can have a look at some of the comments in a day or two and get some really idea, idea if there's anything behind this. So the problem, often democracies throughout the world do not adequately represent the best interests of their voters. I think we're all pretty much agreed with that one. The reason, the iron law of oligarchy, in essence, the leadership of pol political parties will favour selected individuals for influential positions within the party amongst those that are loyal to the current leadership instead of their level of competence. Well, we've seen that time and time again, haven't we? And there's a little chart there with some of the evidence. Uh, the World Values Survey reveals widespread lack of confidence in political parties across multiple electoral cycles. Can any of these countries be considered true democracies? Well, this is it, isn't it? We've got the situation, particularly in the UK, where we've had years and years and years of the same, well, bull, for want of a better description, and we're all sick to the back teeth of it, thinking, what do you do? And uh, how we take it depends on how we're influenced. Anyway, back to this. The solution, a formal and binding veto option that triggers a rerun when a majority of voters choose to veto in a first-past-the-post system election. In a proportional representation election, the percentage of empty seats would be equal to the percentage of voters who choose to veto. No seat in the legislature should be occupied unless the occupant demonstrates they have the consent of the majority of actually or, or actually represent a segment of voters. This solution has the potential to change the electoral system from a lead follow or get out of the way oligarchy model to a more democratic one. It provides a reliable measure of voter dissatisfaction and an incentive to act upon it. This proposal motivates all prospective representatives to represent voters effectively. By implementing this solution, democracies could potentially address the issue of inadequate representation and restore confidence in the electoral process. The veto is ground zero of reform. Make voters matter again. Make voters matter again. That's the thing at the end of that, isn't it? We, we feel like we don't matter. We feel like our, our voice has no volume, no pitch. Another point of view. Let me know what you think in the comments. You know, you know, it's interesting hearing these things, and I'll bring them to you. As always, uh, hit the like button. And if you're on social media, I wouldn't mind a share. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.